this used to be a fitness channel. Now they've got batteries. Well, let me give you my excuse slash reasoning. We are here at Two Wheels in Tamworth to pick up two brand new nuke proof megawatts. Yeah, boy. What are you having, Findus? Uh, 297 battery. Yep, and then when Finn ordered these, I thought I'll just pop in and see if it's ready because I was passing by uh, and then ended up buying one as well, as you do. So uh, I've gone for the comp, uh, which is the bottom of the wrong one because I've already got the whole factory spec on my current nuke proof frame. So in total, it should only cost me about a grand, I reckon, by the time I've sold everything. Mega twin! <laughs> Sound the alarm. I'm coming, I'm coming up. We'll have the ball. I'm sweet like a buttercup. You're a puppy dog. Show them all what I'm made of. Strut down the hall. With my bike, it is the comp frame but effectively making it a factory slash RS spec with a lot of my bits that I already had. So I already got the Fox Flow X2 fork on there, got the E13 cassette, uh, upgraded to the AXS wireless gears, and uh, I've got my Horizon saddle on there, got the Fox 38 forks, my uh, XT brakes. So all these bits that I'd already got off my old frame put onto this, Effectively, as I say, making it a, a custom spec, but just utilizing the comp frame because the comp frame is exactly the same. Apart from with the comp, you get the lesser battery, but the guys at Two Wheels have upgraded the battery for me as well. So I've got the, uh, the high spec battery in there. I have my Sam Hill pedals that have popped on there as well. Thank you, Harrison. So that is my custom comp megawatt spec. And here we have the Findus Mobile. So Finn's is the out-of-the-box factory spec model, which arguably is better than the RS spec. Uh, the RS spec, the only difference really comes with the coil and uh, electric gears, but this actually has the better wheels on it, has the DT Swiss wheels on it. And uh, just, I don't know, it's, it's the one that people tend to go for over the RS. I mean, the guys at Two Wheels were saying they haven't sold any of the RS bikes. So with this comes with the, the Fox 38s e-tuned as standard the Fox X2 shock, uh, the X1 setup, and it's uh, one e-bike of the year, 2022. Beautiful spec, and now uh, we can't wait to get out on them. This is Harrison's first go at filming for WFMTB, so I've left his little commentary on because it's brilliant. There's gonna be two people on the e-bike, on the bike. You'll see them going down there. Ooh, coming back! Ah, no, he's a, the Mega Twin! Mega Twin! Mega Twin! <laughs> the Mega Twins! He's rolling and doing a wheelie. Well, he's doing all that. Look back here and see them. He's going to do something. Oh, no. They're going to keep on going. No, stop. Thanks, camera boss. So, next up, we've just got to go and uh, test them now. And uh, see how we go on. Tomorrow, Finn and Nathan are off to Bird to pick up the Ethic, which Nathan is borrowing for a few weeks, testing out the brand new Bird e-bike as well. We're gonna do a few rides, we're gonna go to Revo, we're gonna go to the Peaks. So stay tuned for testing the full range of new Ebs. New bike day, it'd be rude not to go out on a little micro test of the new megawatts. We've just done it, but this is the intro. Chase, this hill is killer and often puts me off. I'm riding no handed up a hill that usually kills me on the way home. Aside from how fun and playful it is on the trail, this is just nice.
and we're back again. So that was the first micro test of the megawatt. We are gonna go on a big full test. We're hitting Revo next week and we're gonna be going over Lady Barra doing a full tour of the Peak District on them as well. But new bike day, you have gotta go out, just try little stuff. So we headed, headed over the Common, Gentle Shore Common, which is very close to us. There's a few little techie bits, a few climbs, stuff to just play with, because it's gotta be done. And that, I'm gonna say, it was incredible. I mean, I'm used to the Mega anyway, and on the Mega, I just know that I can always straight line anything, it's gonna hit roots, rocks, just take it, and it's just playful, especially with the mullet setup that I've been used to. And this is very much the same. I do need to put a bit more air in my rear shock, because it's been set up from my old one, and I'm feeling a bit, uh, springier with it being a heavier bike but other than that it's just awesome because I can do the climbs a lot more easier obviously where if I head from mine I'm going towards the chase I've always got big climbs and now I'm going to hit those a lot better now I know what you're thinking this used to be a fitness channel now they've got batteries well let me give you my excuse slash reasoning for that so ordinarily when we go over the chase lately I've been going out on my hardtail because just doing things like the dog and the monkey, I'm just enjoying that. It feels a bit more old school, a bit more playful. I can chuck it around, a bit more pump up the hills. Uh, just for general trail riding, I've been loving going on that. So I've not been using my full sus, really, for just regular trail riding that we do day to day. I've been keeping the full sus for things like bike parks and things like when we're doing off-piece hunting. In that scenario, when we're doing off-piece hunting, I've been out with Bell and some of the guys on e-bikes, and we've been at the bottom of a hill, and we're like, oh, I wonder if there's some up there. And they'll go, Oh, oh no, yeah, this looks good up here, yeah, come up here. Or, oh no, no, there's nothing down here. Like a scout trooper. So in that respect, I thought, oh man, it'd be awesome just to have that power, just go and check what, you know, exploring. Uh, and that is where I think it's really gonna come into its own for me, just exploring off-piste and just giving that ability to go out. You know, you do an awesome day and you find a wicked off-piste and you've probably all been there where you think, oh, that was wicked, but oh, I can't bother to get up to the top again because I've got to get home and stuff where in this scenario, I can just keep having fun, playing all day, which is what I want to do on a full source bike. I want to go ha have fun and play. And when we go to the bike parks, often we've been up on the uplift, we've gone down a short, short little run, and we're like, oh, you could just pedal back up and do that bit, rather than waiting for the, you know, the pickup. But again, it's like, you, we've done it once. I think it was, where was it, Bike Park Wales, we might have done that. And then we come down again, and we're like, oh, no, no, we'll wait for the pickup now, because, you know, we're knackered. Whereas on that again, we could just skip that, that uplift and just keep doing little sessions of bits again, where I'm just going out to have fun and play for. Whereas if I'm just doing regular trail riding, I am still gonna be riding a non-battery hardtail. So I feel like at the moment, I've got the best of both worlds now. An explorer, an out and out fun explorer, and a fitness for the races and for the trails. That's what I'm sticking to. Stay tuned, as I say, for the next tests, we're gonna be hitting Revo and we're gonna hit a big peaks one where we're going to be fully testing the batteries. Until next time.